Hey, what's the story behind Comfy Cat, your nickname? Shoot, I knew that was gonna come yeah. up. <laughs> Wait, I never heard this one. I don't know, it's Taylor Comfy Bingaman Cat. gave it to me like on this uh, indie trip. We did a Northwest trip. You'd always see me in like comfortable positions. <laughs> I'd always be like chilling in the van or like have like a little zone like where I'm just laying down when I'm not skating or he just called me Comfy Cat. So he just, like, <laughs> he's like... <laughs> Did you know the original name of the, the salad grind? He was calling it the windshield wiper. Did you know? I that? didn't really call it anything. Really, oh, you didn't? but I was like in myself. I call it windshield yeah. wiper. Wait, so like, let's. Well, have you ever explained how you did? You have intentions to make it do that a salad grind? Kind of. Yeah. Well, it kind of came from Kent Senator back in the seventies. Mm -hmm. He did backside layback and like grinded sideways. Okay. But then it really kind of came from Omar. Like on mini ramps when he'd like backside, like tweak it, the setup, like slow down a little bit to do a next trick. Right. And then I think I was at Vancouver at some mini ramp contest. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna do it front side. Cause I think me and Christian and a bunch of other dudes, we are trying to imitate Omar doing the backside ones. So I was like, I try it front side and I thought it was kind of corny. But it looks sick, yeah. cause there's the famous ones that I see you go yeah. and you, as it goes along, you tweak it more and then you bring it back. Yeah, and then I think I was like in Frisco or something like skating Bryce's mini ramp and then I started extending them and going further. Yeah. And then that's when Kevin Thatcher called it the salad grind after me or something. Sick. Thatcher named it. Yeah. Sick. Not many people have a trick named after him, you know? I do. What is it? Um, the 900, I was the first, the freckle, the freckle 900. The freckle twist. <laughs> the last person probably to get like a sick trick that stuck is the Bennett Grant, I think. Yeah, yeah oh, so, so pro, like switch the, 180. Right? No, that's the back, back 180 switch. switch back Smith, right? Yeah. Yeah, speaking of that, switch 180 Smith, Barley, Barley. that was one of your buddies. I was going up to film him during mm -hmm. Welcome to Hell and stuff. I yeah. remember you came me, out on a session or two, I think. Me and Donnie used to live together for a Did little while. Did you really? Yeah. Like Santa Monica, right? <laughs> yeah, we lived right on Ocean Park. Were you going out to skate with him all the Not time? Not really. I never, I had a regular job. I was like, oh, I had a job. I, I look back now, I should have been going skating with him. I don't know why I didn't. Like our house, was my friend's house, we rented in and it ended up being like the Toy Machine Zero foundation house and shit. I'd come home and my dog would be playing with like Brian Anderson up front and yes. shit. Being so pissed, I had to work all day and you're playing. <laughs> what kind of jobs were you holding back? I worked there? at like Hot Rod, the skate shop or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah. And both of you guys ride for Santa Cruz, which yeah. is to me, like they're one of the coolest companies. Have you ever been up to Santa Cruz? The, the, the Never. Yeah, NHS? Been there. Never been there. Holy yeah. shit. It's like a the, museum. I follow the museum on Instagram. You gotta go, just fields. make a yeah. trip up there. It's so okay. cool. I got walked through it by Keith. Yeah. He brought us through one time. They're screening the shirts right in front of you still. Yeah. yeah. They have the full indie. Like, and I don't know if you know the There's just a legacy there, there, like that yeah. is present in its like aura, you know what I mean? Yeah. When, when you're there. They never leave anyone behind. They never like, they take care of everyone there. Everyone there is from the employees from when you walk in to when you leave, it's awesome people, yeah. you yeah. know? NHS is awesome. They've supported so many people over the years and supported the skateboard community. It's been yeah. it's so sick to be a part of it and Guzman get to ride with these dudes. Yeah, Guzman. Guzman. We're about to go on a little, we're like filming for the Santa Cruz video right now that they're kind of been working on this last like couple months and yeah. uh, gonna go on this little road trip in my RV that my grandma gave me and Gregson and Guzman. Can people follow you guys online? Like hashtag Comfy Kitten. Comfy <laughs> Kitten? Comfy it's cat. Hashtag Comfy Cat, follow these guys on their tour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all jittery from the coffee and the ginger shots. Uh oh. <laughs> I like watching the old you contest take footage of him. Yeah, old right. contest footage of him, he just charges. Like maybe the way like a like Dennis would charge a contest now or Evan Smith or something. Yeah, that that has been always been a thing with me is like I over amp before a con even when I was a little ass kid and contests just come out like blah like I don't know why. That's awesome yeah. though. Can you can you relate to the kids nowadays who do like a trick on a ledge and then just like to like sit and chill? No. Is that no. a call no. yeah, yeah, for you? Slow, step off like, yeah. yeah. It's not and even for the same some world. reason like I just always go like super fast and stuff and <laughs> there's so many similarities. Like I've I've said it on the show before in a million times Abe's in my top three yeah. and he says like oh he's my fave and Rob really says everybody's his fave he doesn't have like, a <laughs> solid fucking I, I want can, numbers I want <laughs> given Gino yeah but Gino Dylan uh, Ocean Howell okay like, those are like easy top three Anyway, so Abe <laughs> is the same way. He's yeah. like, just, he's fucking ass, bad. Yeah. Is that like, so do your guys' draw together? Is like so he's my favorite skater. I always keep saying this, but yeah, he's my favorite skater. Like in videos and just charging and just 
It was a beast, yeah. So, I don't know, for some reason, like when I was a little kid, I was like rolling on back of my dad's motorcycle and just hauling ass and watching like, I just got like inspired by like on any Sunday. I don't know if you ever saw that motorcycle documentary and everyone just haul on the ass like full blown. That's why I thought how if you're gonna be good, you have to do it super fast. Yeah. Doesn't it seem like any kid who was introduced to dirt bikes of some sort when they were young like skates so gnarly. All of them. I don't. I yeah. can't, I can't imagine like, one that does. A skateboard can be so mellow compared to what's ha the speed and the noise and everything that's happening on a bike. So you maybe you want to amp that up, like you were saying. Yeah, I mean, like it, just, it translates. I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. And I just like really like pumping, like you know, like skating up like a kidney pool, like hitting the hip and then getting sent in. And then that's the other thing is when I was a little kid, I got to see some gnarly sessions at the skate park, like Jay Adams and like Shogo Kubo and Brad Bowman, and like then they just hauled ass, like dropped in, you know. So that's I thought how. Tight. How were those dudes back in the day? Were they ever dicks to you? No, anything? everyone was so nice to me. I was you never so had lucky. one experience with someone like bullying no, you. No, I was so grateful. Like. Like, I know I met Tony Alva, super nice. Jay Adams, and he was just beyond nice to me. Yeah. And like Steve Olson, like, was such a nice guy. Like, he's like been like an uncle to me and like my best friend. It's crazy. That's it. what recently I just like kind of realized, like, wait, you're my hero and I'm hanging out with you. you know? <laughs> and I've been asking like shit tons of questions now. Like, what was that like? Yeah. And, like all the questions I had like when I was a little kid. But you guys are from the same era, right? Yeah. Yeah. They say don't meet your heroes, but he's a pretty good one to, yeah. to meet because oh, he's, he's a guy that just like yeah. always has, no matter what, he has a snark remark or something <laughs> funny. Like best. it's so perfect. You have a rap career? <laughs> no. DJ Omar Ginger and him, dude. What are you man? talking about? You guys are gnarly. DJ Ginger Beard Man. Gingerbread man, oh, but yeah, that's <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm looking like, at your why? beard yeah. and asking yeah. like DJ why? Lettuce that Raps. Yeah. That's that's how Mark Lettuce yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's got a few MC Money Bomb. Like, we, uh, MC Money Bomb is gnarly. Grayson's they, freezer. I, I have a video of like seven minutes of him playing piano and rapping on it. Oh my god, it's Chris Russell, just, MC Brussels Sprouts. Really? Yeah, we got a whole little crew. Yeah, posse. I can't, I can't release any of this. What label you're gonna be on? Right? Your own music or are you karaoke? No, like more just rap. kind of freestyle, drunk stupidity. Oh. Omar and I rapped at Christy Van Dorn's wedding. Oh. And that was probably like, <laughs> yeah. that was probably our biggest show and most embarrassing. <laughs> hey Eric, of every like, I was watching. Um, I read or something, and you were talking about seeing Jeff Phillips skate that con win that contest on acid God. in this crazy like arena or whatever. What's like the craziest? And maybe that's it. But I don't know. What's like the craziest thing you've witnessed? Five decades of skateboarding, professional skateboarding. That's crazy. I'd have to go back to that. Then I put my own spot. I'm not sure. But you you mm. said your favorite era was now. I think yeah. Lance said the same thing too. I, I interviewed him once, and he said something like, "It's whatever's going on right now, like what you know, what, whatever yeah. we're doing at this point in time." But then, like, we have the nostalgia and that that distance to put us from when we watch the old videos, Savannah Slam or whatever the fuck it may be. You watch it and you just go like, "Dude, this must be so fucking crazy." But really, it's probably just whatever you're experiencing this weekend or next weekend. You know, right? There's one thing I wish I could go back and see, like in real life. It's like those quarter pipe jump ramp sessions that oh, would just God. happen in Venice, like spontaneously. It was gnarly, like, like what were those like? Yeah. Well, cause you know, somebody would bring a jump ramp, like Julian or somebody would, you know, he made the big quarter pipe down there and or somebody would bring a jump ramp, put it against the wall and it'd be like, no, I'm gonna go higher than you. No, I'm gonna, it was like all like testosterone driven, like. But then it turned into people watching, which I would imagine created the, thing, the yeah. energy, a different kind when of energy. When they had the big quarter pipe that on that one wall, it'd be like hundreds and hundreds of people standing around on weekend like gnarly the whole draw you know i wasn't surprised when they have the park there and there's like thousand people around, yeah. standing around but there was like tons of people like on the weekends there but that was just that wasn't like let's go make a spectacle that was like that was a normal session yeah. and that turned into a spectacle because yeah. it was in a tourist yeah. area that's so sick i think that's like such a sick thing yeah. is there any of the street performers that are the same from back then till now like the guitar um, guy on the road yeah, like like yeah gold guy i mean how long was that guy. guy there for he's been there forever i lived next door to him for like a minute he'd be out 7 30 playing that shit and I was like, <laughs> fuck i hate that guy <laughs> <laughs> just over just distorted guitar on the fucking crack of dawn you're like god damn it I'm flat out of questions unless so you am guys I. want to have some more thanks so much for having us Dude, on thank you guys thanks, thanks rob thanks Thank you. Thank you so much. Josh. Yeah. Ellie, yeah, love, love you. I know it's been way too long. Yeah.